Happy market day. We are about 20 minutes out from getting on the road. It is a local market, which is awesome. That means I only have a 20 minute drive. I'm nervous because it's just myself putting my tint up, but I've never done it before. I watch Goo Goo Goods. She does it all the time. And I want to say someone said like a tip wise is to put your weights on two of the legs when you pull it out and that will be helpful. So I'm hoping that works. There is going to be up to 30 mile per hour winds. So let's hope that my rocks are heavy enough. If you guys have been here for a while, you know, when I had my first show, we had 30 mile per hour winds. And so I have a, we have a 40 style house. We have a lot of rocks from like um, a rock retaining wall. And then whoever did this, I don't know, but there's rocks all around our yard, like circling trees and stuff. Um, so we have a surplus of rocks because some of the retaining wall has come down over the years. And um, yeah, I have a like bags of rocks. They're very heavy. So I, I think we should be good. It's just, it's just me though. So let's hope so. It was raining this morning. So the grass is going to be soft, which ugh, muddy. Um, yeah. I don't, I already emailed him. He's like, you set up time. The person like in charge of like, I guess talking to vendors said that um, set up time starts at 11.30, but you can come earlier if you want. And I was like, I'm slow. I emailed him. I'm gonna be there at 10.30. <laughs> and like, it's all a first come first serve setup. So I don't quite know how that's gonna work, but I'm hoping it's somehow where I can just pull up. It's a one way road. <laughs> Um, to an area and unload and then move my car and then not have far to move because I don't want to trek all my stuff that far, but that might be how it works. So I don't know how much setup I'm going to get filmed just because it is just me, but I will do my best to get some of it. So I will see you at the Pride Festival. I didn't mention, this is Preble County, Preble County Pride. Preble County, if you're familiar with Ohio, is very uh, low population. So I know it's not gonna be massive. I know that for a fact. And also it's not Pride Month. So um, this is our second year doing it. I figured it's local, I'll come and support. And uh, hopefully you see some of the kids that I used to counsel uh, when I worked at a local school nearby. So. I am excited and let's do this. The goal, oh, the goal. It was $50 for the table. And so my goal system is really just like triple the table cost to get into the profit zone. Um, and that's a, like a rough estimate here, but we're gonna say the goal is 150. I know that's low for like a lot of people you probably watch on here, um, but I think that's a good goal. It's from one to six, so it's not a long market. It's only five hours. Um, and there's, but there's a lot of entertainment and they're, um, a free community meal, which is awesome. So, all right, now I gotta go because I gotta, you know, wrangle up a kitty and a toddler. Bye. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us.
Hello. <laughs> what was that noise? Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, <laughs> um, I'm home. It's 7.20. Work it ended. They technically closed it down at 5.30. I think it was supposed to stay till 6, but there was no one there. I don't think anyone was anyone new showed up after 4 30 which honestly is pretty normal for markets um so i'm excited for next weekend's market because it ends at four every day and that's like minus friday that's perfect i figured because it's short and sweet i already know um everything i made and like everything i sold so why don't we just go through it so i don't come back another day to update you we're just updating now uh let's do market highlights my favorite customer um, yes, we're picking favorites. There weren't many customers and they were all very sweet. But um, this one group, they were there like the whole time. Uh, they probably came and bought something three different times. It was just like three, like uh, maybe high schoolers hanging out and walking around. And <laughs> they kept um, walking by and saying, hey, Barbie. Uh, because I was wearing pink. I had my, I don't know if you saw it. I was just wearing this like top because I kept getting hot and then cold and then hot and cold whenever the sun came out it was hot and like really nice and then whenever it went back into the shadows I was freezing so yes that was the highlight person um no no negatives everyone was super chill and super nice there the market was extremely slow I think this is just a reoccurring theme do I have too high of expectations I really don't think so it was maybe like someone would walk by every few minutes ish it's like the same people walking laps essentially it was a small venue i knew i told you guys ahead of time i was like it's not gonna be busy weirdly i didn't see a single person i knew which is so strange to me because i know a lot of people in preble county not a single one of them there so i don't know i don't know anyways what sold so all my sales were before 3 p.m. except for two. I actually got my very last sale as I was packing up. Uh, so the first two sales were within the first hour and it was from that group of <laughs> kids. I bought or I sold a crime cup, a strawberry cup, and then I sold to a different person a cat bookmark. And then a different person, I sold a distracted sweatshirt. And then to a different person, oh, that same person, I only sold one mystery bag and it was a $10 one and she loved it. She opened it in front of me. So I was like, I honestly, I, I don't remember what, what it's supposed to be in here. <laughs> and then from that same group from the first time, the um, Barbie girls, they bought a butterfly charm necklace and a Stanley charm. And then I had another person buy a custom charm necklace which honestly like i i think i'm just gonna scrap that at the moment the custom bar i'll get into that last hour i sold a custom bookmark and um current vibe is or today's vibe is stormy uh so in total i sold 170 dollars which if you remember my goal was 150 so we made it had that last person not bought i wouldn't have made my goal so i'm i'm pleased i know that's a small number uh but the table fee was only 50 and it was only a one to six technically like 5 30 market so that wasn't that bad and there weren't many people there so like i have to think in the future as it grows there's going to be more people it just needs to keep growing you know so yeah i think i'm going to scrap the custom i even though like i always at least sell one or two i found one option next level customs on i was on the phone with someone who was i on the phone with i don't know okay anywho um it stresses me out because whenever i whenever i'm doing like a custom one and it takes me a while to do the necklaces i always have other customers and then i just i feel like i have to be rushed but i need to get it perfect so i don't know i think i'm gonna pause that for now and i think it's confusing people on my table so i'm gonna take it away for my next week's market the mustard seed market and see how i like it um, and i may bring it back at some point regardless i will not waste those charms though so just know that i will end up using them in some way or another I will figure it out because I did buy a lot of charms for that okay so yeah that's my market recap 170 we made our goal 
I didn't, oh, I didn't mention, uh, the food was free there. They had, it was, they called it a community meal and it was a cabbage roll. Um, it was so good. Oh, this, it was good. So I didn't have to spend any money on food, which was even better. And I don't know, gas wise wouldn't have been that much because it was only, it's like 15 miles from my house. So I don't know how much that would be. I didn't even factor it in. It was a win. That's all there is. So I hope you enjoyed this market vlog. It's shorter than normal. They had uh, music blasting, like blaring. What is that? Where is it blasting? I think it's blasting the whole time. And it would have copyrighted me. So I filmed a little bit. I'm sorry. Oh, and I didn't, I tried my best to do that 10 by myself, but there was a man, you saw him, that helped me. Um, and he, and I kept telling him, I think I have it. I think I have it. And I must have just smelled like fear because he refused to leave. And it was like, no, we're, um, just let me help you. <laughs> so, uh, maybe I could do it by myself. I'm not sure. All right, the verdict's still out on that. Now I'm gonna go. Love you, goodbye. I just need to clear my head.